A typical day for me, it actually varies, but there's some things that are pretty consistent. I wake up roughly at 6 a.m. I wake my daughter up. I have a 17-year-old. She wakes herself up. We're getting ready for college, but I, I'm there to make sure it happens. And and even when I'm on the road, uh, I will call her. And sometimes she laughs. You know, she's like, Mommy, you're in California. It's 3 a.m. What are you doing awake? But I will call. Uh, so my day almost always starts with waking up my daughter. When I can, and that's almost always, I do like to meditate and I do like yoga. I find that If I can center myself before the day begins, I very rarely don't have a busy day. So if I can center myself at the start of the day, that helps. My current commute is bus and a train. So I've moved deep into Brooklyn. And so in some ways, I don't love the long commute, but I do love it in that as I I do love it because it's a time where I can check email. It's a time where I can do my Bible study. I can get all that done before I get into the office and often set up anything else that I need to have happen during the day. I have a lovely office. I am able to look out over uh, parts of Manhattan. We're on the 12th floor, so it's a pretty good view because we don't have a lot of tall buildings around us. Uh, We have both an open floor plan and offices in the morning. I like to have meetings. I like to interact with people. One of my main goals this year at RISE is to engage champions, to have more champions uh, behind our organization. And that means that one-on-one time and that connecting with people, and I enjoy that. So I'll have meetings. Lunch, I'm trying to get better at eating lunch and not doing anything else, but I rarely get that right. So it is either a lunch meeting or I am eating and working. And in the afternoon, I generally do try to hold time when possible to simply sit at my desk and work. The amount of um, interaction over email is significant. And so if I can, I try to carve out time to stay on top of that um, and to strategize. I think one of the larger challenges for running an organization is making time to think ahead, to be forward thinking and not to be mired in the everyday details. And so I I work to stay a strategic leader and that means making time for that. So I have meetings, I work, uh, plans, a lot of meetings with my staff. Um, And I try to get home most nights at a decent time. The truth is I try to get home two nights a week by 7 or 7.30. Then when I get home, if I can, we have dinner, my husband, my daughter and I, my son's at college. I like to read to go to sleep. I've uh, I've learned that I have to shut down the to-do list. So I have either meditation or reading helps me to really allow my brain to just stop so I can sleep well.